Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And today we taste the Glenfiddich Rare Collection, 40 years old, bottling date 2010. It's 46.6 ABV and it's a real rare bottle. Um, <clears throat> it's handmade to perfection, as they say it. Um, and there were very few casks hand-selected for this bottling. Um, there are American oak casks as well as European casks with a sherry uh, history uh, were uh, vetted together to produce this extraordinary single malt whiskey von Glenfiddich. Um, the number of bottles were 600 and uh, this is batch number seven and uh, the price of this bottle is extraordinarily high it's around two thousand dollars a piece and uh, in former times the 30 year old Glenfiddich was quite affordable uh, around two hundred dollars and uh, in the meantime the price rose and rose and rose and five hundred dollars for a 30 year old Glenfiddich is typical today in 2014. So this one is even higher on the ladder and there had been uh, casks from the 1970s I've seen already uh, where there were single cask bottlings uh, and I've seen uh, a bottle of 1937 Glenfiddich um, which was 50 years old and the price was around 13,000 pounds but already 10 years ago. <clears throat> so this is a, uh, a leather coated box and a magnetic uh, closure in it, a special foam in it to prevent the bottle from, <clears throat> from breaking. Uh, and here you see it's a Typically three-cornered or three triangular shaped bottle with rounded corners, but it's uh, not as tall as the typical Glenfiddich bottle is. Um, <clears throat> Glenfiddich is the uh, most often sold single malt whiskey around the world and uh, they are happy to keep stocks for a longer time because uh, Glenfiddich is privately owned, still privately owned by family. Uh, and those mega companies, those corporations, they typically sell as fast as they can <laughs> to get their bony. Uh, well, and Glenfiddich is privately owned and they say, well, we keep those casks and sell it when either the taste is maximum or <laughs> The price is maximum. Well, um, this is bottle 536 of 600, 46.6 ABV, release number seven, as I said in the beginning. And uh, here on the box it says 537, and here 536. So I'm sure this bottle was. Uh, finished, this package was finished in Scotland because those errors quite often appear in Scotland that numbers don't fit. Uh, <clears throat> here is a, a book also, also leather coated uh, with 40 on top of it and uh, there's the history and all the people who worked on this cask and bottle uh, and in the back there's a certificate for this special bottle <clears throat> and uh, here you can see the certificate and all those six uh, people the CEO the chairman the malt master the coppersmith the head of warehouse man and the head cooper all have underwritten this certificate I don't think that they have underwritten 600 times no this is a print. <clears throat> um, yeah, it was uh, bottled 21st of October 2010. 
and here it's written it's the 536 as on the bottle so the certificate matches the bottle <clears throat> and here is a key in the box where you can lock it to prevent thirsty <laughs> tongues uh, from uh, savoring this whiskey. Mm. Yeah. So I opened this bottle two minutes or five minutes ago. And there's a, an additional seal here. And the color of the whiskey shows that there are sherry casks. A quite significant amount of sherry cask whiskey in this bottling. Oh. Very complex. Dark fruits. Immediately dark fruits. Oh. Dark ripe sherries. Sherry. Sherries, not sherry. Polished leather, fresh roasted coffee, dates, wonderful. Wonderful mouth filling. And then immediately attack on the tongue from yeah from the oak. It's the oakiness uh, combined with a sherry sweetness with with dark fruits, resins, and in the back a very light, bitter, dark chocolate. So the oak cask, the European oak cask, can't hide. They are there. The aftertaste is long and complex. Wonderful. The taste was very sweet and smooth in your mouth. And then swallowing it, mouth-watering, a second gulp. <laughs> You should keep those whiskies as many seconds on your tongue as they are, have age on their label, but 40 seconds <laughs> is not suitable for you. Yeah, I will finish this glass. A wonderful, full aromatic taste. Thank you for watching whiskey.com. Stay tuned, there's more to come as this bottle came. Uh, uh, share this video with your friends and feel free to discuss this video with me on our forum. Thank you.